Hello there, YouTube world. Right, uh, I just want to document this, right, that as I'm speaking to you right now, it's the 42nd minute in the first uh, Liverpool derby of the season, Everton versus Liverpool. Right now, uh, if it stays uh, now now or 1-1, one, one, oh, off the post, but Everton hit the post. Right now, I would take a draw. Right, aye, I would take a draw. Uh, I mean, we really, really need to hurry up and start winning. But uh, for me, anyway, the uh, other match, Celtic versus Rangers, I flicked over to the moment in two now. But I definitely think that it's over with now. The best that Rangers can hope for in that match is a 2 2 draw. I can't see them coming back and winning 3 2. Uh, but as I'm watching this game, uh, today on the uh, the 3rd of uh, September 2022 I'm drinking Dr Pepper uh, Fizzy Juice other uh, carbonated beverages are available and doctors and um, I'm, dr I'm also well not drinking but I'm eating but uh, by the time I finish it it will be a uh, liquid it's a uh, green tea and lemon ice cream. Other teas and ice creams are available. But I just thought I would uh, document it uh, because uh, it's the first uh, derby of the season uh, between Everton and Liverpool and then Celtic and Rangers. So a kish day. But the Celtic game looks like it's been so much better because there's two goals already. I mean, Everton have hit the post and... Liverpool just then hit the bar, but uh, Pickford saved it onto the bar, so technically uh, Everton have hit the bar and the post because it was Pickford that uh, pushed onto the bar. Pickford's, uh, well, I wouldn't say he's like a world beater, but on FIFA he's uh, overall is 18, there's nowhere, uh, there is nowhere near that in real life. Aye, the stats on uh, FIFA are so... Uh, like uh, wrong, they're not true to real life. But I digress. Um, I he's not too uh, bad. He's a uh, the captain uh, this season so far, and I think for some of the last season as well. But uh, we seem to have a more balanced. Well, I uh, maybe balanced and more like uh, strength in our team this season. So. Uh, they just missed it. Well, oh, they hit the Liverpool hit the uh, post. Didn't you see that? I bet. Uh, even though I don't like Liverpool because I'm an Everton fan, but uh, Luis Diaz is absolutely amazing. He's brilliant. He's been he's been probably their best player. Their best players this season so far has been uh, Luis Diaz and uh, and Roberto Firmino. But Roberto Firmino and. Uh, Oh, God. Uh, Andrew Robertson is not playing, and that's uh, quite strange. But anyway, uh, I'll just uh, pause you for a minute. Right, I'm back, YouTube world. Right, so, as I was uh, saying there, I, I just wanted to uh, document the uh, first uh, Everton and Liverpool game of the season. But so far, uh, it's no uh, what I thought I, what I would have uh, hoped hoped and wished for. I mean, technically speaking, right, Liverpool are miles and miles ahead of Everton in every single department, maybe just slightly Everton, slightly on goalkeeper, uh, like uh, Edge, but apart from that, Liverpool are miles ahead. But, as I was uh, saying, this uh, section, it's now half time, but this section, uh, uh, this um, YouTube video, it's just got to be explaining. So, uh, on Saturday, uh, I went to Edinburgh to go to the, uh, see the last bit of the festival, and I went to see uh, either tattoo, right there. I'm just going to turn down the TV a wee bit. Right, so, uh, I digress. Aye, so, um, everyone in the world 
should at least go and see the Edinburgh tattoo at least once and the same with the festival. But uh, on the uh, Edinburgh tour bus, other tour buses are available in other cities and towns. But um, as I was saying, that I, when we were on the tour bus in Edinburgh, it was only a tenner and you go around for about 60 minutes, but you can get on and off whenever you please. And um, it said that the Edinburgh uh, Festival is the third biggest event in uh, the calendar, no, in fact, uh, ever, the, the uh, third biggest event uh, in the world. Uh, the only uh, event that gets more people seeing it is the Olympics and the World Cup. That is absolutely unbelievable, that fact. Absolutely unbelievable. And uh, they were talking about it, but I can't remember what they said about it, but uh, about the mythical creature, uh, the unicorn is uh, Scotland's uh, like na national animal, even though it's not an animal, because uh, if it was a true animal, it would exist, so it's not. Uh, our national uh, animal should be either the grouse that's on the whiskey or uh, uh, Aberdeen Angus. But uh, so I, Edinburgh is absolutely amazing. I would recommend that everyone in the world uh, goes to Edinburgh at least once to have a look around when it's a normal day, then go back to see the festival and then go to see the tattoo. It was a lot, lot better than what I thought it would be because I really thought I would be gone <sighs> and just being so bored out in my, uh, my mind and uh, falling asleep, but it was so much better than I thought it would be. It went on for one hour and 35 minutes, came on at quarter past six and finished at 10 to eight. Technically, I thought it was going to finish about nine o'clock, but it was brilliant. And then the highlights, uh, well, no, in fact, the full entire show as an entity uh, came on on Monday, I don't know, about six or half six. Uh, aye, uh, but it was, uh, it was really good, actually. Aye. It was very, very good. I love it when something like that happens where I uh, didn't really expect something to be good and it uh, is a lot better than what I thought it would be. I love it like that. But I can't uh, believe, right, in such a so short space of time when you walk about in Edinburgh how many uh, souvenir shops there is or shops that are dedicated to Scotland and Edinburgh. I know it's the capital and you expect that, but... Uh, I think per head there must be more uh, souvenir or Scottish uh, shops in Edinburgh than anywhere else in Scotland. But uh, it was Kirsty, I, I dare say it was Kirsty. Yeah, and uh, when I was down in England, I, I just loved going to like Liverpool, Southport. And then uh, Armskirk is a really cool wee, uh, like, uh, old market town. Uh, they've, they've really uh, tried to smarten themselves up uh, a lot uh, recently, uh, Ormskirk, definitely. It's, it's more uh, catered for like people between, uh, I don't know, 14 and 30. Aye, uh, like uh, trendy uh, pubs and bars and uh, people, like students and that. Aye, so, but it's still good. Uh, uh, the duck pond is uh, worth uh, walking around on a beautiful day. Aye, because uh, I've done that a few times. That's Christy, I dare say. And uh, I've told you recently a bit like my records that I like, yeah, I because uh, I'm really into that. But all the advice I should stay in your uh, mind when you're, I learn from my mistakes or just like uh, take my advice and you uh, can't go wrong. So that's a, another good thing. And uh, oh, uh, that reminds me, I may as well show you. Uh, because I'm just uh, telling you about things that have, oh, telling you about things that have happened or uh, of interest. They came in the post a couple of days ago. They're uh, dried, dried blood worms uh, for the uh, fish. Uh, but I put them, I put them in ages ago. Some maybe have been uh, in a, a wee bit, but uh, they've like uh, congregated uh, into a, a, a bunch at uh, one side of the uh, the water on the surface. I thought like 
about two, no, about five seconds later, I thought all the fish would have uh, jumped to the chance, like came through wherever they're hiding and went right up to the top and started eating them, but they're not really. Maybe uh, later on in the day, if, well, no, about six o'clock, if there's still some floating at the top, I might just uh, scoop them out and put them in the bin. Aye, but. Uh, so, uh, I just thought I would. Uh, I, as I said, I document on the 3rd of September 2022 at 1.25 a.m. and no, p.m. in the afternoon that it's half time Everton versus Liverpool, no no, and Celtic versus Rangers. I think, uh, well, last time I checked anyway, 2 0 to Celtic, so get in there, come on! Aye, because uh, I used to like Celtic, but now I don't at all. I don't really care about them. I mean, in general, I don't really uh, like Scottish football, but if I really had to, uh, my Scottish team is Hibs. Yeah! 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 Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Right, uh, what am I going to do? Right, uh, so I have got a Dr. Pepper, which recently I got into because when I was younger, actually, I didn't really uh, like the taste of Dr. Pepper now, but uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it per se that my, um, uh, like I've got a sophisticated palate, but uh, definitely in the last 10 years, I've opened to more, uh, well, I wouldn't say that Dr. Pepper is a exotic flavour because it's been around for absolute ages, but I'm more uh, prone to when I go out shopping or even if I just go out and I go into a shop, I want to try something different every time I go to a shop. So, uh, so far this year I've tried... Uh, Oh god, what are these things? It's, it's no... Oh, what do you call them? It's no... Um, co uh, cockles. I tried uh, when I was down in England, in Southport, uh, Lancashire. I tried cockles, uh, pickled cockles for the first time. Got them out of uh, B&M and then sat on a uh, wall and tried them. And they were not too bad, but they're nowhere near as good as mussels. Because mussels are bigger and sweeter. And then... Uh, I've I've tried that ice cream I explained to you earlier. The um, green tea and uh, lemon, and then the uh, Dr Pepper. Cause Dr Pepper, right? It's a cross between I would say uh, Coca Cola cherry and maybe uh, I am. Um, Dandelion and burdock, and then a tiny, tiny little bit like uh, Coca Cola vanilla. So it's like a cross between the uh, three flavours in the one uh, can or bottle. But uh, other, other uh, carbonated beverages are available. So um, I have tried that, and then. Uh, I mean, recently, in the last couple of years, I've tried. Um, Hash brown fries, they are absolutely st stunning. Uh, much better than the square, bigger, uh, like um, hash browns. Aye, uh, the hash browns are a bit too harsh in my opinion. But uh, what else have I tried? Oh, I should have maybe wrote it all down or thought about it and then done it. But aye, uh, so as I was saying, I uh, last year my New Year's resolution was every time I go to a shop to try something different. In fact, oh, uh, recently I've tried quite a lot of uh, new flavours of um, uh, Pringles because uh, right now, uh, well, in fact, this, I think this morning and then last night I was having, oh, God, what flavour are they? Uh, oh, that's it. They're... Uh, Italian style uh, pepperoni pizza, but I've tried like the sweet chili uh, version, which is stunning. And then nowadays you can't get it anymore. But uh, I did try 
oh, years and years and years ago, more than 10 years ago now, but they used to have uh, salt and pepper uh, Pringles. They were absolutely stunning. But uh, the most underrated flavour of crisps ever is reddit salted. Because the reddit salted Pringles are uh, really good, especially when you have about five or six in a row, because uh, they start to get more saltier. But uh, with Pringles, for some reason, I can't just have like one on their own. I always have to have two. But oh, they're stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then in home bargains, other retail shops are available. Uh, <coughs> I've got like uh, chip shop curry crisps, but you get two of each flavour. You get, uh, I think it's like beef and onion, chip shop curry, and cheese and onion. And oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, wow. uh, but um, I think they're walk. No, they're uh, golden wonder. I no wow, no wow. Golden wonder for some reason are my uh, best uh, branded uh, potato based snacks at the moment. But other potato based snacks are available. But oh, I oh wow, no wow. And uh, I would recommend right uh, either a cheese sliced pizza or a pepperoni pizza out of Greg's oh wow no wow and then also but other places are available the Livingston news place in Livingston shopping centre other shopping centres are available uh, you get these like uh, big uh, uh, probably about that big right uh, but they're a, a tiny, tiny little bit like uh, what's it? Aye, uh, so, uh, but they're uh, beef, I think, and oh my god, 99 pence, I just can it or a pound, but I just cannot believe how much flavour you can get just for one pound. Oh, incredible. Uh, the next time I go to the center, I'm going to have to get two packets. But when I was, um, uh, devouring them, uh, meandering along and eating them. My cousin Christopher and his girlfriend, a uh, customer, was saying that I was massively overreacting. But not. Uh, whenever I just uh, can't get over how much flavour you can get for so little price, I need to uh, voice my opinion about them. Wow. But uh, recently as well, I've had some uh, energy drinks, but I'm trying to stop drinking energy drinks, just on special occasions maybe. But I had like a summer one uh, for that uh, Livingston News place in uh, the centre. And it was no... In fact, Everything I have ever tried in my life right now says sour on it. It is nowhere near as sour as I thought it would be. So much uh, disappointment like uh, skittles, uh, like crazy sour. Nowhere near as sour as the sound or taste. Aye. So technically, in essence, right, what I would uh, do is, if I was like a uh, guy in charge of food probably or the government that if anything you buy says sour on it and it's no as sour as you think it is or as it tastes or sounds you should be able to go and get your money back the same way uh, curries or ruby murrays if you try one and it's nowhere near as spicy as you thought it would be because it says it is then you should uh, go and get your money back because uh, if it says crazy sour on it it should be crazy sour uh, uh, because then they're ripping you off aye uh, if something says it is then it has to be aye but technically though golden wonder crisps aren't they well they're it's a wonder but they're not golden so Technically, that's wrong. So, um, I, I just love trying different uh, foods. Right. The second half of uh, the Everton and Liverpool game coming uh, back on in a minute, but I just wanted to show you Dr Pepper, because uh, I've really got into that in the last couple of days. And... Uh, Right, aye, uh, I was going to show you, right, uh, I've been having a lot of uh, noodles recently, but uh, bacon is my least uh, favourite uh, flavour. Recently I just uh, take the wee powdery bacon and then put the equivalent of uh, chip shop curry uh, sauce into it instead. 
Aye, but uh, what? Uh, aye, yesterday I had a really nice uh, Thai green curry uh, pot noodle. It was stunning. Aye, absolutely stunning. But I could have done with a bit more oomph just to take it from like there uh, to there. Aye, because uh, I mean I haven't got the biggest uh, uh, sophisticated palate, but I like uh, things with a bit more oomph, a bit more. Like a bit more, I get up and go. Like uh, sometimes when something's there, I want it to be there, like to the next level. So right, uh, I'll leave it there now because it's uh, twenty and a half minutes now. So the Everton games just kicked off, so I'm going to hopefully watch them beat Liverpool. If the day uh, beat Liverpool, I'll come straight back on and document it. So right. Thank you for watching. Peace out. One love. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting. It really helps and it's just good. I just like uh, voicing my opinion about uh, things, that, things that I like or I'm interested in. So gives me a chance to promote it to people. So right, thanking you uh, very much. And I've got good comments about this mask. Look at him! Look at my mask! Look at him! Look at him! Look at my mask! Look at him! 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 Look at him!